Minivans are made for parents, and there's something about having children that changes one's perspective about minivans. What was once an embarrassment becomes an object of desire or a source of quiet pride. Even if one doesn't have kids, certain minivans can be appealing, be they guilty pleasures or not. Take the Chrysler Pacifica, for instance. We're not ashamed to say we think it's a fine vehicle for hauling baggage or bodies, alive ones, of course, or that we found the plug-in Pacifica hybrid to be downright exciting. Pacifica set a standard for a new generation of minivans at a time when crossovers have nearly cemented themselves as the popular, less embarrassing family vehicle. The new Honda Odyssey has its work cut out for it, then despite being the best-selling minivan in the U.S. for the past six years. A trip to the big island of Hawaii with wife and toddler, and car seat and stroller and various toys, and lots of spare diapers, in tow was our test case to see if the Odyssey has what it takes to win over parents. The styling of the minivan is nothing too adventurous, though it's more complicated than the Pacifica. Exterior lines have a number of curves and bends, making it more interesting to behold, if slightly less elegant than the Chrysler. That feeling carries over to the interior of the Odyssey as well. The angular central touchscreen and the controls below it form the visual focal point, giving the cabin a tech-forward feeling, as does the all-digital instrument panel. In the elite trim level, a strip of mood lighting separates the upper and lower dash, accentuating the futuristic look. As busy as it appears, though, it all ends up being very intuitive to use, and the Odyssey contains a number of swell features that add to its functionality, as we'd come to learn over the course of our time with it on the island.